Yup, it's here. Armaf's Club de Nuit Precious One. I've tested it for two whole weeks. Is it worth your hard-earned money? Should you buy it if you have another Club de Nuit? Intense man. Uh, how does it perform? What does it smell like? All that and more in today's video. Hello, hello, Nixon Dice here and you're watching Smelly Cat and if you're wondering why I'm sounding a little different today, it's because I woke up and I had like an asthma attack. So yeah, this is how I sound today and this is how I'm feeling, a little low in energy but you know, I'm ready for this. Um, yes, I have asthma and yes, I love fragrances, we exist. If this video is a little slow for you, then feel free to change the speed of the video on YouTube to match your pace. Also, if you haven't done it yet, do consider subscribing to the channel because we are just a sneeze away from 50,000 subscribers. So if you if you do that, it would mean the world to me. All right, this is a new release, brand new release from Armaf. Saw it online, had to get it. And um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The Club de Nuit series is arguably Armaf's most famous series. So pause this video, go down in the comment section and tell me what is your favorite Club de Nuit. Not, not Club de Nuit intense man, I'm talking about any Club de Nuit, the entire series, even the uh, key series, you know. Go down to the comments, pause this video and tell me your favorite Club de Nuit ever out of all the Club de Nuit releases. And when you come back, I'll tell you why this one is my favorite Club de Nuit release ever. Okay, let's start off with the presentation and if you're not interested in it, skip the next couple of minutes because I'm going to show you the presentation of this fragrance. But if you are, then stick around. This is the box that it first comes in. This is the outside box. You have a very sharp, very, very sharp arm of metallic uh, logo over here. The name of the fragrance uh, and the uh, concentration. So precious one. I'm very bad with the French pronunciation of this. So I'm just going to call it precious, precious one. Part of the Club de Nuit series. And this is an extra. <laughs> if you notice, it's got enough confirmation that this is part of the Club de Nuit series. So there's Club de Nuit written all over this box. So how do you get into the box? You actually have this little pull tab over here, uh, which comes when you buy the box new and it says, there's a little sticker on it that'll say, um, pull to open. So you just pull, it tears, you open, and then this bit opens, and then there's no club de Nuit written inside as well. Once you're in, you get this nice rubberized, this feels so smooth and soft, and just has this amazing soft touch feel. I know it might seem creepy the way I'm touching it now, but yes, this comes with this, again, Club de Nuit written inside, comes with this, I don't know how to explain it, the best way to explain it is this soft rubberized feel, and it has these little hooks on the side uh, to hold it in place. Once you put that aside, you get this beautiful matte finished, heavy, heavy box inside. So this is the actual box of the fragrance. The one that you see outside is just a, you know, like a delivery box, a cardboard box that this one comes in. So they have paid a lot of attention uh, to the look and feel of this one. The back is polished and the front and the sides are this soft uh, matte finish. Opening it is simple. You have this bit on the side that you use to open it and then inside you get some literature this bit here is another um, very light uh, cover that hides the fragrance underneath it i'll say this they make you work for it <laughs> so yeah this is what i was talking about you have this um, again a bit of literature that comes with this read it on your own time now some may like it some may feel that it's a little too excessive but again you can't deny the fact that it does feel and look good First thing you'll notice is this um, this cloth, this uh, microfiber cloth that you usually get with sunglasses or glasses. Uh, this is for those fingerprint magnet bottles. A uh, couple of the newer fragrances from Armaf have them. I really like it because 
helps me wipe the bottles and keep them clean. And this is how the bottle looks inside. Uh, it rests in the coffin like this. The bottle is very slim, very sleek, and I'm actually loving the design, that minimal look of this bottle. Um, very, very by Killian, you know? Um, and it's got this motif running from the outside of the box. It's got this motif running inside as well. This is a 55 ml, so it looks extremely slim. The cap is a polished metal, very, I'd say this is very different from the usual Armaf bottles that we are used, uh, bottle caps that we're used to, which are usually very big and bold. And honestly, just like that, just taking the cap out and I can smell, I can smell the fragrance already. It's also got this tinkly bit, um, I don't know what it's called, uh, that has uh, Club de Nuit and Armaf written on it, along with a little solitaire. Now, before we get into how this smells, I can already smell it. Like I said, I opened the cap and I can already smell it. It is a strong fragrance and I'll get to it. Before we get into what this smells like, how it performs and all, let me take you through the official notes from the Armaf website. Uh, the top notes are bergamot, lemon, pink pepper, black pepper, pineapple, pear, and caramel. The heart notes are anise, lily of the valley, jasmine, white wood, oak moss. And the base notes are amber, cedarwood, leather, patchouli, white musk, vanilla, and ambroxan. So as soon as I sprayed this, as soon as I sprayed this, I went, okay, I know what they're going for here. You know, wow, the opening is, Fabulous, no alcohol blast, no rough edges, no harsh lemon, none of that. It, it, in, okay, this is a little irritating, I must say, so I'll keep the bottle aside. It instantly reminded me of a couple of fragrances. Absolute Aventis, Frederick Marles, uh, Music for a While, Jasada's um, Ambassador Intense. In the opening, you get that bergamot and pineapple the most, with a bit of softened, sweetness which i'll come to a little later there is a, a hint of something green but not as much as like a hachiwat um but just enough to to add to that freshness in a few minutes you get that burnt caramel feel because when i saw that caramel in the in the um in the opening notes actually in the top notes sorry i wasn't ex you know i thought oh, they just put it there just for the sake of it but no it has this like that soft sweetness I was talking about. There's this burnt caramel feel, which a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances use a lot. Um, so it's got that little Middle Eastern hint with that burnt caramel. So there's a phase where it smells like a minty caramel, like cool and sweet at the same time. There's maybe some lavender, there's maybe some lavender thrown in there as well to add to that, um, to that freshness and give it that men's cologne-like feel. Uh, but again, very delicately balanced and never overdone, <coughs> sorry. And finely tuned with that sweetness, you know. So it doesn't feel too aromatic at any, po uh, at any point. Um, aromatic, but not too aromatic. All the jokes will get the joke. <coughs> now, if you enjoy Hachirwat like oak moss, you'll get some of that in the uh, mids of this one as well. And by white wood, I'm guessing that they mean birch because Honestly, that's what our mind, my nose detects in this one as well, especially in the mid phase. Pineapple, again, noticeable um, in some whiffs, not in the others, but mostly towards the start of the fragrance. Another thing is at no point does this get, <coughs> sorry, at no point does this get overly spicy, you know? And that's, that's a good thing because that would completely ruin this fragrance. In the later ride down, there is more warmth, there is more woodiness, and there's an airy caramel patchouli vanilla too, um, which you will notice in the air mostly, more than on your skin. Okay, let me tell you something embarrassing, but promise to keep it to yourself. Uh, in the last four or five months, I have worn uh, absolute Aventis around eight or nine times. Every time I take a flight out of Dubai, I go to Dubai duty free walk, straight to the Creed um, wall, and I end up spraying it on myself, almost buying it, but then the price stops me. Will I buy it now? No. 
Absolutely not. In fact, I had a, a flight uh, just a couple of days back and I said, you know, let's go do it again. Let me get a nice shot for this video. And I think I, I think they're on to me because when I went there, they got rid of Absolute Aventis. All the other creeds were there, but uh, I think they kept an eye on me and they realized that I come there every few, few weeks, uh, spray myself, douse myself in Absolute Aventis and then don't end up buying. So this time when I went, I walked, you'll see the shot. Yes, this is me walking going to show you a shot of Absolo Ventus and then hey, you know what? They didn't have it there. <laughs> this I have worn for two weeks straight and the performance keeps getting better and better with this one. This has given me 12 plus hours uh, in the last couple of times of wearing this. Projection is also heavy. It's a diffusive fragrance. People around you will notice you. It leaves an amazing scent uh, behind, a scent trail behind. Uh, it's got this enveloping uh, quality to it, um, when you, especially when you have it on your clothes. Um, I'm just delighted the way it has performed and it's only getting better. And I completely understand if you think, why a 55 ml at this price and not a 105 ml because it is slightly on the pricier side. But then I understand why it is that way as well because it is quite potent five to six sprays are more than enough okay and five to six is also a lot i think five to six sprays of this are more than enough to get you through the entire day in conclusion if you want to scratch that absolute itch this will absolutely do it definitely do it uh, it does smell expensive it transitions beautifully uh, it performs well and for me, quite honestly, coming back to what I had said earlier, this is the best Club de Nuit you can buy at the moment. So if the Silver Sprayer, the old Club de Nuit Intense Man EDT came back, that beast pre-2017 came back, that would be my first buy. If you find it at a good price, just grab that. Apart from that, this one is my new favorite um, Club de Nuit, I must say, and my favorite purchase from Armaf, this Club de Nuit, uh, Precious One. All right, hope I've answered all your questions on this fragrance. Um, if you have any, do ask me in the comments. And until next time, keep smelling amazing. Hey, you stuck to the end. YouTube thinks that you love this video. So click and continue watching if you haven't yet.